Welcome to the Miniature Lettuce Farm. We are a hydroponic farm located in Fayetteville, North Carolina. We specialize in miniature varieties of lettuce and herbs. Today we're going to talk about deep water culture versus the cracky method. If you've been following my channel, you know I do a lot of the cracky method. I love it. It's really simple. This is a cucumber plant that I've been growing in this um, five gallon bucket for about six weeks now. If you have not seen those previous videos, make sure I will actually link the previous video on my cucumber plant in the description box below so you can watch that. But this is about at about a month. Um, of the plant being in this bucket then you know the week later I started seeing this uh, yellowish um, on the leaves and the ends turning brown you know I I checked my pH make sure my pH was doing fine the pH um, maintained at a, a good level so it wasn't a problem of, of the pH and so I just kind of watched it and over time then this is the week later um, you see more browning um, and more yellowing of the leaves so at this point I knew that I needed to do something or this plant was probably gonna die and I do have some cucumbers that are growing on here even though they're growing very slowly they are growing um, but I knew it was time to do something so I am going to convert this crack key cucumber plant into a deep water culture um, plant but um how i'm going to do that is i'm going to add some air stones and an air pump to this you see how thin those um thin those roots are they should be a lot thicker by now i ordered this pump from amazon when you get it that is what comes in the box this is a pepper plant that I've also been doing um, as a cracky method and I it actually has some peppers on it right now and it's been doing um, okay but I wanted to see if adding some air stones in an air pump would increase my um, production rate would I get more peppers if um, if I put an air pump in there. So um, this air pump comes with two hoses, um, meaning you can attach um, this to two different um, containers. So that's what my husband is doing there. See, it has two ports on it. So we attach the pepper plant to the first port. Um, and now we're going to start working on this cucumber bucket. We actually decided to drill a hole in the side of this bucket um, because the tops on the two buckets are different and we couldn't get the holes um, down this um, top. So we decided to drill a hole in the side and this is him just putting the holes through the hole. We did a really small hole as to try not to introduce too much um, light into the bucket because we didn't want to bring light into the bucket and we kept the hole up really high. Um, I usually don't even fill the water up that high so we knew that that would be great and here he's just adding the attaching the air stone to the um holes
Now it also comes with these um, hooks just to help you um, somewhere to do with the tube so you don't have tubes everywhere. So they just stick on the side of the container and have a place where you could just kind of hook your tube into there to keep everything looking neat and nice. Um, once he has that um, attached and all of that fixed up, he's just going to cut the tubing so that we can actually attach it to the pump. I bought this pump from Amazon. You can look, um, the affiliate link will be in the description box below. You can look down there and, and see the exact um, pump that I got. They have lots of different pumps. This is for um, two attachments. We also have one that could be for four attachments. So um, yeah, but this one is going to work great for um, what we're trying to do in this scenario. Then he's just going to turn it on and make sure it's working working properly and set to where we want it to be set to and now you can see um that it is pumping and aerating the water um those roots just look really thin by now um, those roots should be really thick. So hopefully this works. I'm just going to cut off all the dead um, and dying limbs because you always want to make sure you're pruning. Um, that way the plant can save some of that energy. And instead of trying to keep those leaves alive, it can focus on keeping itself alive and actually growing these cucumbers. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and follow. If you are not following me on my other social medias, please also follow me. The link is in the description box below.